Environmental issues have dominated our concerns, but we've only been focusing on the symptoms. To fix all the runaway problems we're surrounded with, in, in fact, to stop the destruction of our world and the disintegration of society that's happening everywhere we look, we have to fix the cause of the problem, which is us humans. We are the problem. Our out of control, egocentric, selfish, competitive and aggressive behaviour. We're sometimes told that we humans are competitive, aggressive and selfish because of our animal heritage, that, that we have savage animal instincts that, that make us fight and compete for food and shelter and territory and a mate. But that's just the excuse we've had to use until we found the real reason for our divisive behaviour. I mean, it conveniently overlooks the fact that, that our human behaviour involves our unique, fully conscious thinking mind. I mean, descriptions of our behaviour such as egocentric and arrogant, deluded, optimistic, pessimistic, artificial, hateful, mean, immoral, guilty, evil, depressed, inspired, psychotic, alienated, all imply there's a psychological dimension to our behaviour. The real issue, the psychological problem in our thinking minds that we humans have suffered from that had to be solved in order to fix our divisive behaviour is the dilemma of our so-called human condition. The issue of our good and evil afflicted, less than ideal, imperfect, fallen, even corrupted state or predicament. The truth is, we've always known the real problem we have to understand about ourselves as the issue of the human condition. The difficulty, however, has been that unable to explain the dark side of ourselves, we have coped by putting the issue out of our minds because to think about it was too depressing and until now an answerless and, and, and thus futile exercise. In, in, in fact, we only ever mentioned the term human condition when we were being really profound and even then it sent shivers down our spine. But, but what's happened is that through the advances made in science, it's now at last possible to make sense of this deepest and darkest, previously off-limits issue of the human condition. That um, greatest of all days in our human journey of conscious thought and inquiry. In fact, the day that we've lived in hope and, and faith and trust would one day come, when biology would finally be able to provide redeeming understanding of our less than ideal human condition. The day when we, we could at last explain the psychological origins of our species' deeply troubled predicament has now, and, and in the nick of time, arrived. I mean, th there's been much talk of the need to love each other and, and to love the environment, but the, the real need on Earth has been to love the dark side of ourselves, to find reconciling and redeeming understanding of that. And it's precisely that all-important understanding of ourselves that's going to be presented. You're about to hear the explanation of the human condition, and as you'll see, the answer is so redeeming and, and so relieving that it transforms us, and, and thus our world. Hence our organisation's name, the World Transformation Movement. In summary, what is to be presented is the understanding that lifts the ancient debilitating um, so-called burden of guilt from our species' shoulders, and by so doing heals our troubled souls and sets us free. And, and this is not one of those mindless, dogma-based, new age, full starts to a new world for humans that can't and doesn't last. This is the mindful understanding that alone could bring about the real and lasting repair of ourselves and our planet. I mean, we humans are conscious beings. We needed brain food, not brain anaesthetic. We needed answers, especially the answer to that crux question of why we have been the way we have been, less than ideally behaved. And it's that answer of answers that will be presented. This is the most exciting moment in human history.